News now and a convicted child molester in Florida, just 27 years old, is now connected to the sexual abuse of children right here in our area. Benjamin Fieldman is in prison for child sex crimes. Now new evidence, pictures and video allegedly showing that he abused children on Long Island too. Long Island reporter Kristen Thorne is live in Hopog with the latest. Kristen. Diana, just a short time ago, I spoke with Benjamin Fieldman's brother. He is asking people not to rush to judgment. He says his brother is innocent until proven guilty. Police say 27-year-old Benjamin Fieldman took pictures and videos of three children that he allegedly sexually abused in Suffolk County from 2009 to 2014. They say these children were not related to one another and did not know each other. Fieldman has been living in Florida for the past several years. He recently he pled guilty to felony sex crimes against children in Florida. Police say Fieldman used to work as a babysitter in Suffolk County and worked as an assistant teacher for the Suffolk Y Jewish Center in Comac. The Suffolk DA is asking anyone who may have had interactions with Fieldman to come forward. It's always hard for folks to come forward about sex crimes for a variety of reasons. Uh, and we have uh, true professionals who work in the police department and who work in the district attorney's office who will ensure that people who come forward are treated with respect and dignity. I mean, simply put, he's not guilty. He doesn't have a bad bone in his body. You said you didn't think he could do something like this. No, he's never even gotten arrested before. He's not, this is not like, no, he's like he's not capable of doing something like this. He's a great person. He's, a, he's an amazing person. Suffolk County officials say they were made aware of Philman's alleged crimes by Florida authorities in Florida. They apparently, in the course of their investigation down there, uncovered these alleged pictures and video and promptly contacted Suffolk County officials. Fieldman was extradited yesterday from Florida and he was arraigned today. He's being held without bail. For